What we're going to take a look at next is the actual Junos devices. Now, the Junos operating system runs on all Juniper network devices, including routers, firewalls and switches. But an important thing to know is that all Junos operating systems run off of a Unix based system called FreeBSD. Now, this is just some blurb that I got off the Internet. FreeBSD is a free and open source Unix operating system descended from the Berkeley software distribution, which was based on research Unix. And that's as far as I'm going to go in regards to FreeBSD and Junos. If you want to know more in regards to this, then you can crack open your favorite search engine and get to typing. Now, I've been using the Junos platform for a while and there are probably loads of different Junos devices that I haven't even touched. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to talk about the ones that I'm familiar with. And what I should do, I will just open up the Juniper product page. And you see here, they've got like cloud services, data center networking. The first one that I'm going to look at is the switches product family. So let's just click that here. And when I think of Juniper switches, there's only two real models. If it's got EX in the title, or QFX, then I know that it's a switch, but let's see what they say. And it's exactly like I say here, the EX series of switches, which is like the older legacy switches. I mean, they have some new ones. I don't mean they're all old. And then you have like the QFX series of switches that you see in the data center in regards to Juniper. If you're doing like ISSU or you will see like a QFX in the top, if you're gonna have a stack, then you'll see the QFX as the master and then you usually see like EX switches as the slaves underneath and the QFXs are the ones that do things like, as I said, data center interconnects and VXLAN. But let's look into the EX series of switches just to see what kind of models they've got. They're usually like 48 port or 24 port switches. And the ones that I've used, if it's listed here, are like the EX4300. What else did I use? I thought there was a 4500, that's what I was looking, maybe that's being discontinued as well. Okay, then you've got like the EX4600, which is an Ethernet switch. And basically it means it's got Ethernet ports is what I mean. And I know that on some of the QFXs, they only have like SFP ports, but let's click into them. Guys, I have a request from you. If you're enjoying the free content, I'm looking to increase my subscriber count to 4,000 subscribers by June but I can only do that if you give me the play special. Do you wanna know what the play special is? Press like and yeah, subscribe. Okay, back to the video. And have a look. And you see some of the ports here, like the QFX series image. Does it let me open the image? No, I wonder if I could just zoom in. You see that some of the ports here, they're not just normal ethernet ports, they're like SFP ports. And you've got like the big boy here, the QFX 5700. Um, it's the 5100 range that I use, so like this QFX 5110. But this is the main switching range for Juniper. There we go, the QFX 5100, which has the QSFP ports. So if you see EX or QFX, then you know that you're talking about a Juniper switch. Let's go back to the products page and look at, scroll down, scroll down, look at the routers. now. Me, mainly, I've used the MX series, but let's see what they're talking about. So they've got the MX series. I did see one of these once, the PTX series of Juniper, and this thing was bigger than me. It's like over six foot tall. Also, the M series is the older version. I have never seen the ACX or the CTP series. I have seen the J series, but there's quite a few in regards to routing. You can also use the SRX as a router, but that is basically a security product. But let's look into the MX series. Now you usually find that they go up numerically apart from at the beginning. So, oh, it's not gonna show me the data sheet. So I've seen the MX 104, the MX 150, the MX 204, then you have the MX 240, the MX 480, and the MX 960. Um, it seems like the product range has um, developed a bit since that. But these are the ones I'm used to, like the MX960 and the MX480. 240, 204, there we go, 150 and 104. And the last product range that I'll be looking into is the Juniper. So if you have any questions that are talking about the M series or the MX series, know that they're talking about a Juniper router. And the last one that I'm going to look at is the security profile. Now, 
The only Juniper security devices that I've ever dealt with are the Juniper SRXs. I know that there were some older versions that used to use screen OS called the SSG firewalls, but I never used those. So I only ever used the SRX. And also we have the VSRX, which used to be called the Firefly, which is the virtual firewall. But let's have a look on the SRX series. And this is the SRX. You have the VSRX, the CSRX, which are virtual. Then you have the physical SRXs, which are the firewalls. And all you really need to know, or all I think you need to know, is that if it says SRX, then it's talking about a Juniper security product. Okay, it's question time. Question one. Name three platforms that run Junos operating system. Question two, which Juniper MX series router has the highest capacity? Question three, which of the following is a Juniper switch? Choose two. Question four, all Junos operating systems run off of which underlying software platform? 